everyone, welcome back to Fixing It Up with Sandra. And in case you're new here, I am Sandra. And today we are going to be making, um, again, melt and pour soap. I know you can't see it, but I am pointing to it. Um, but this one is gonna be a little different. So we're gonna kind of get uh, creative with this one. We are going to do two different layers of color and we're gonna be working with goat, goat's milk soap, which is definitely different than um, the coconut oil or coconut base soap. Um, I have two different colors here. These. We're gonna work with uh, blue and silver. And then I ordered this sh super schnazzy uh, soap mold. So I'm super excited about this. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be, again, an easy, but just a tiny uh, bit more um, involved, uh, intricate, uh, it'll be fun. So let's get started. I'm gonna point the camera down so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And I wanna start out this video real quick. I know it's already started, but I just wanna say, for those who are doing these melt and pour soaps, I encourage you just to have fun with it. I know a lot of people, um, you know, they get so stressed when they start a new craft or they worry so much about how it's going to, like how it's gonna be perfect. Um, just let your creativity flow. That is what crafting is all about. That's how come I have so much fun with it because I make so many mistakes, but as long as you have fun, you're totally going to love the outcome regardless of what it is. And it's just going to keep you going, you know, and bettering your craft. You know, if you get so upset over one little mistake, you're going to be like, that's it. I'm done. Not happening anymore. Don't let that happen because that's what this channel is for is to show you mistakes can be made and we can still have fun and it's still fabulous. So. Anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. We're gonna point the camera down. You're gonna see what I got. So, we're get started. like I said, we're going to be using these really cute soap molds. And I think, 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 these are the three ounce ones. I'll double check, but these are, I believe, three ounces. So I've got eight here. I'm gonna grab another mold to do smaller ones because I like to give out samples of um, some of my products. So we're gonna be working with these two. I will grab a smaller one and I'll show you. Um, today, we are working with this fragrance oil, again, through uh, Sierra Candle Making, um, Candle and Soap Making Supplies. I love this company and this is what we're gonna go with. And just so you know, you're like, what does that smell like? This is more of a, um, it's got a little bit of citrus. Um, I wanna say cologne, which means like, sandalwood, musk, um, it's a really nice one. I've been doing a lot of florals, so I wanted to go with more of like a musky kind of a smell. So I have that. Um, I have my dollar store measuring cup, which I will pour the melted soap into here. Um, I have my little spatula, again, um, I think. Oh, grocery outlet, I'm like, where did I get this? And then I'll put a link to where I got these um, little mica powders. I have my rubbing alcohol right there, and that's to first spray this, and then of course to get rid of any little bubbles. Now, the main, the main character of the show is the soap. Now, we are doing two different layers. I'm still gonna work with two pounds of soap because I like the amount of soap that I get with that. Um, so we're gonna work with two pounds. As you can see, this is a little different. So I actually had bought a 10 pound um, block of this. And so it, I've opened it up. So I've opened this up. So it comes in like this giant ten, solid 10 pound block. And then what I've done is measured out one pound because remember, we're gonna do layers. So I'm gonna do one pound right now. And then once that, once we, pour it in here and it cools, I'll do the other one pound because then I'll put the other color on top of the bottom. So this is one pound of goat's milk. As you can see, it's white. Um, this is definitely a different texture. Um, this, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting. It, 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 I'm gonna cut this up into even little bits so we can melt this again. This is a melt and pour soap. We're gonna melt this in the microwave in 30 second increments. And of course, do not 
If you think, oh, it'll just be a minute and 30 seconds or whatever, don't do that. Really do it in 30 second increments because everybody's microwave is different and you could end up burning or ruining the soap. So what I'm gonna do is cut this up into even little bits and then put it, pop it into the microwave. Put it in an oven safe container and put it into the microwave. So I worked with this, I did a lavender soap um, a few days ago and being new to soap making, I was completely floored by the different the, by the difference between the goat's milk soap and the uh, coconut based soap. Now, I, I have brains, so I know that they were gonna be um, different, but in texture wise, I was really amazed. You know, the goat's milk soap has a lot more fats in it, um, so it's definitely a lot creamier. Um, not, I, I do love the, um, the coconut oil soap. I think it feels really good on my skin. I use it all the time, but this one really, man, the, it just has that real extra creaminess that I just absolutely love. And so I am super excited to be working with this kind of soap. Um, I'm hoping that I continue to learn more and more about goat's milk soap. When I go to make soap, um, we, our family actually does have goats and I'm, I'm sure I live in a very small country town, so I'm sure I can find goat's milk somewhere. I'm deaf, fresh goat's milk too. I'm definitely going to try making goat's milk soap because I'm really wanting to see how this is made because of the way the texture is. I just love it. All right. So we're gonna get, so guys, we're gonna get a microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna get my bowl right here. I'm just gonna pop all of this into here and then we're gonna do 30 second intervals. Now I did notice that this soap cooled a lot faster than the coconut oil. Like I had to work really fast with this, which is really just, Maybe I just didn't heat it long enough, so I'm gonna heat it a little bit longer, but I found that I had to work really fast with this soap. Hopefully it's, it's not like that in this video, so we have a little bit more time to go through like each step that I'm doing. But I'm gonna heat this up, I'm gonna bring it back, and I'll have the smaller, um, the smaller, uh, good board, <laughs> little thingy for the extra soaps, silicone mold, my goodness. Okay, so let me melt this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the soap is basically ready, but because I don't know how much long, how long I have to work with it, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping. So this is my other little um, mold that I'm gonna be doing for samples. Um, I'm just gonna give it a quick spritz with rubbing alcohol. This is just to help also to help the soap adhere to this. And also it's a little sanita sanitizing. So, and this will, you know, um, evaporate. All right, so we've got this. And because we are doing one pound, instead of the original 54 grams of fragrance oil, which is what I use for two pounds of soap, I'm gonna do 27 grams of the fragrance oil. So I'm just getting, like I said, I'm getting this all prepped. So when I pull, when I get the soap out, it'll be ready. So now I'm just gonna do 27 grams. All right, perfect. And I have my measuring cup right here. Okay, we're just gonna kind of squeeze, squish that up. And then I have my color it right there. So I'm just gonna, I'm popping my soap on for just another 15 seconds, just to make sure that it's nice and creamy. And then we're gonna work kind of fast. All right, so I have creamy goat's milk soap. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it Oop, 
I saw a couple of clumps, so I'm gonna probably pop this in the microwave for just a few more seconds. Let me just double check. You know what, I am. I'll be right back in 30 seconds. Okay, so now it's really nice and creamy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my 27 grams of fragrance oil directly to the soap. And this is a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm gonna add probably just an eighth. It's the only teaspoon I can find. Do a little bit right there. And I may or may not change, uh, add more coloring depending on how bright this gets. Now remember, you're mixing color with white soap. So if it doesn't come out, you know, screaming blue like this, it's because it's, it's mixing with a white color. I've learned that with candle making. Now again, if, when we start working with clear soap, your soap is gonna come out exactly. So I probably did add a quarter, just um, to let you guys know. Not that you guys didn't see, but just so you know. Oh, squashed it. This is why I always wear an apron. All right, and I'm just using a little skewer to stir. Get it nice and um, mixed up. That's This fragrance really smells nice, I like it. All right, now it's time to pour. So I've already got my molds ready with the alcohol. Now I'm gonna tr just do halfway. And we'll see how many we get out of this one pound. Now you can also do this, like if you wanted to do two fragrances in one soap, you could do one layer one way. I do a lot of um, blending when it comes to my candle making. I blend a lot of fragrances together, which is super fun because you can create your own scents. We'll get into that um, later in a later video. Okay, so I've got eight. And I'm just double checking that I have the right amount in each one. Okay, so this one, I think I, when I did my lavender one, I just didn't melt it long enough because this is actually 10 times easier to work with. So I'm just gonna take the remainder of this and then make one, it looks like I can make one flower, maybe one and a half. Or maybe two. Okay, and then I'll just top off one of these little bars. All right, now, this is the fun part. Do you sit and wait for it to dry? <laughs> and then we'll come back and add our second layer with the per or the black pearl so this is it all you got to do is wait now so now i'm back with harden our first layer these are super cute i'm going to pop one of these out just so you can see what the design is super super cute so these will be my sample soaps um, our first layer has hardened in our soap molds. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our second layer, which is gonna be the same fragrance, but we're gonna work with the um, gray color. And let me get my soap out of the microwave. So I have my, so this is an, one more pound. This is a pound of the goat milk soap, melt and pour soap. I'm gonna go ahead, I didn't rinse this or anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this soap right into that measuring, into this measuring cup. Let me finish my sentence. All right, so we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna measure out one grain, or I'm sorry, 27 grams of the fragrance oil that we were originally using, because my recipe calls for um, a total of 54. So we're gonna do 27 grams. A little bit too much. Perfect. All right. So we're going to add that into our measuring cup along with some colorant. And I got rid of my spoon, but let me grab something real fast. Okay. 
So I did a quarter of a teaspoon. I don't even know if this is gonna fit in there. So that's what I'm gonna do again of the gray. Dump that in there. We're gonna mix. And mixing it with white does give it, um, like I said earlier, not the extra potent color, but it's still, if you add enough, it will give it the color that you're looking for. All right, so I've got it all blended in here. Now it's time to pour this right on top of our blue layer. Make sure that this is nice and mixed. All right, time to pour. So this is gonna be really fun to see when it's all set. I'm gonna get it right to the top, not to overflow it. Well, this gives it like a really nice pearly color that I really like. And then what we'll do afterwards, I forgot to show you, um, even in between layers, there's like little bubbles that might form. And when you spray your rubbing alcohol right on top of it, it'll disperse those bubbles. And there, straighten this out. So we're using a total of two pounds of the goat's milk soap, the melted pour. There we go. Looks like I got most of it. And then again, a couple of samples. Do one. We'll do another. Perfect. And then just top off any one that needs it in here. And then we're just gonna let this one dry. And I can't wait to see how it looks. So now I'm gonna spray it with rubbing alcohol because I have a few bubbles right on top and this does not harm your soap. All right, that's it. So now again, like I said, time to dry and then we'll come back and we'll pull these out and see how cute they are. And just so, again, so you know, this fragrance oil smells incredible. I'm so in love with this scent. Um, I'm really happy I chose this one, but that's it for two layer soap. Let's let it this dry and we'll come right back. All right guys, so we have cured soap. I had to pop one out just to see. Look at that. Oh, and look at the front. How pretty is that? I love it. Next time we're gonna be doing swirls all through our soap and everything. I'm really loving how these came out. And let's see how much they weigh. So these are just, you just wanna be delicate when you're pulling these out of the soap molds. And I got this soap mold on Amazon. So I'm going to put a link into um, the description box so you guys can uh, grab one for yourself if you want. All right, so let's see what each soap ways. Okay, so four ounces. So this is a four ounce block of soap. I thought it was going to be three, but I'm happy to know that it's four because that's what my other one was. So very happy. All right. Well, now you know how, and look at that, the mica didn't get perfectly stirred in that one. So you can see like a little right there, darkness. And then of course we have our gray soap right here. Super cute. I love them mm, and it smells so good. So there you go. Here is two layer, two colors um, in layers for a melt and pour soap. And as I make more and more videos, we're gonna get more and more creative with our soaps. These are just to kind of get you started and get you familiar with soap making, um, with the melt and pour soap, and just get you to feel confident with it. So here we go, and then cute little flowers. And you can use any kind of molds that you want. 
Um, I know if you go to Michael's, they have, uh, like in the baking section, they have a bunch of silicone molds. You can grab these off of Amazon. I grab a bunch of them at the dollar store and then at Goodwill and whatnot. Um, but yeah, any kind of mold will do. So super exciting. I'm so glad they came out exactly the way that I was wanting them to. Um, and again, this is a, co um, not coconut, goodness, uh, a goat's milk base on here. So it's really nice and creamy. Really love how the how this feels on my skin. And um, yeah, this is it. So exciting now. I gotta get these uh, labeled and wrapped up and into my shop. As always, thank you so much for joining me today in this soap making uh, video not in with the soap making video. Um, I really hope that you're finding soap making, yes, I still have my gloves on, soap making um, lots of fun and easy. Like I said, these are melt and pour bases, so you really don't have to do much to them. Um, however, if you do want to like do additive to, additive to them, ugh, um, like vitamin E oil, which we will be doing, maybe some shea butter, um, some, if you have, like a goat's milk and you wanna add coconut oil to it, always, always, always go to the website where you purchase your soap. I will link one here where I get my uh, soap bases and double check that you can actually add the um, additives to your soap or if it will in some way break it down and make it not perform like it should. So uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you like all of the content that you're seeing, please subscribe. If you subscribe, it just lets me know that you're liking all of this different stuff that I'm showing you guys on a beginner level. Um, and if you really like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, this is just letting me know that this is the kind of content that you're wanting to see. So um, it keeps me like, okay, when I'm planning, I'm like, okay, this is what I need to do more of. Um, and of course, share the video with your friends. If you're like, hey, this is a great thing that we could all do together, share it with the world. So um, yes, yeah, subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to ring that little bell, the notification bell, because you never know when I'm gonna upload a video. I was thinking, okay, I'll do a video every Friday, and then there'll be a day where I'm like, bam, 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 give it all to them. So <laughs> you wanna hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. Um, other than that, I think we are good. Oh, one last thing. Let me adjust my hat. Um, I get people asking like, oh my goodness, I wish I could show you the crap that I'm working on because your video inspired me. There is a way you can show me. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, there are links in the description box for both of them. And you can send me your creations. I love to see that stuff. Plus, I like getting inspired by other people. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, you still inspire me. I'm a beginner. So um, definitely you can follow me on either one of those platforms. Also, there is a YouTube community page where I do random posts. Like I'll post if there's a sale at Michael's or what I'm doing for the next video. You can share in there. I believe you can still um, upload your photos in there. So the whole community that subscribes to my channel can see. Um, so yeah, I really encourage you guys to do that. I love seeing your guys' stuff. So uh, yeah, that's it. But uh, have a fabulous week and I will see you guys again in my next video.